Recent media coverage on the link between air pollution and coronavirus has led to increased interest in understanding what air pollution is and the associated health risks. We spoke to Professor Stephen Hargate, Medical Research Council Clinical Professor of Immunopharmacology and Honorary Consultant Physician within Medicine at the University of Southampton and UK Clean Air Champion to get the lowdown. Why has air pollution been linked to coronavirus? We are seeing suggested patterns of high rates of coronavirus incidents and deaths in areas where there is high levels of air pollution across the world. This may be because air pollution makes the body more vulnerable to catching this virus, or because air pollution causes so many of the underlying health conditions that cause complications for coronavirus patients. But on all of these points, more research is needed, as these findings are still early. What can we do to help? On infection control for coronavirus, we all need to follow the government guidance. To protect ourselves from air pollution, we need to both reduce the amount of air pollution that we create and reduce the pollution that we are exposed to. The best thing to do is to avoid travelling by car as much as you can and to walk or cycle instead. And when you are out and about, stay away from areas of high pollution by walking through parks or on side streets to avoid areas of heavy traffic. For more information, visit www.cleanairhub.org.uk.